Dr. Wrestling Midnight Guthrie welcoming you back to Metro Pro Wrestling. Let's send it up to Satan's favorite announcer, Don Diablo, to introduce our first competitor. Metro Pro Wrestling, Lucy Mendez. That is exactly right. She is the self-appointed by Michael Strider, COO of Metro Pro Wrestling, Lucy Mendez. They make a powerful combination in the administrative offices. And Lucy Mendez, a tremendous, powerful competitor in the ring. A savvy, underhanded competitor. Not one you want to mess with, that is for sure. Back in the wrestling ring here tonight for Metro Pro. First women's action we've had in a long time here at Metro Pro. And one of her longtime rivals is coming to town, challenging Mendez on her, in her home office here tonight for the first time. I can't wait for this one. It should be a tremendous bout between two competitors that know each other very, very well. Let's send it back to Don Diablo to make the official introduction. And introducing her opponent from Asheville, North Carolina, Darcy Dixon. Great to have the very muscular, very powerful Darcy Dixon here in Metro Pro Wrestling for the first time, making her debut here. No stranger to the ring ranks though. Her Mendez's rivalry goes uh, all over the place. They've had quite a number of matches in Resistance Pro Wrestling out of the Chicago area. Uh, they've taken their rivalry to areas on the East Coast. Dixon from Asheville, North Carolina, spends a lot of time wrestling in the Chicagoland area. Mendez, a native of Dodge City, Kansas, wrestles out of the St. Louis area. These two have gone back and forth for, for a number of bouts now. And for the first time, they bring their uh, highly regarded rivalry here to the Metro Pro Rings of the Kansas City area. So this should be a great bout. Two competitors that know each other very well. Mendez, of course, not liked by the crowd here in Kansas City whatsoever. Dixon, though, an unknown quantity to this crowd. We'll see how fiercely they get behind her just for the sheer fact that Mendez has really been on a reign of terror with Strider. Uh, from an administrative standpoint, just, just the, the toying of the emotions of the athletes. And, and really, I got to say, I don't know if I tr uh, uh, trust the accounting of Mendez one bit. She's a CEO, uh, but, but really some of her background in schooling, I want to say, comes in the, in the form of a elementary education, which is certainly not an accounting background. Uh, so call her no Bataya. Dixon, powerful. Backs Mendez into the corner. Dixon is a uh, fitness athlete, competes in uh, fitness modeling competitions when she's outside the ring. Nice hammerlock applied here. Mendez, nice reversal. Now, Mendez, as you know, a fireman's carry takeover, trained under the watchful eye of Harley Race, the legendary King Harley Race, known throughout the state of Missouri, even in the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame. Uh, Mendez, a former two-time World League Wrestling Women's Champion. That is the home promotion of Harley Race's Wrestling Academy. Dixon, a longtime Resistance Pro Wrestling Women's Champion. So these two have championships between them. And as you can tell from the early stanza, they do know each other very well as they are uh, countering counters at this point and exhibiting some great mat wrestling here that is refreshing to see in the women's ranks here in the central United States. Nice. Gut wrench takedown there from the, uh, the German suplex position. Belly to back style. Greco Roman takedown. Front face lock applied now. Mendez spins out into a hammer lock. Beautiful move there. As Dixon tries to grab hold of the back of the head, works herself up to a vertical base. Body slanted in an unusual way, but she manages to work into an advantageous position. Waist lock applied now by Dixon. Mendez tries to break the grip, but keep in mind, Dixon, incredibly strong athlete, certainly has a power advantage over Mendez. Jeez, what a clothesline there by Darcy Dixon. As she releases like a spring coming back at you. Incredible clothesline. Dixon charges into the corner up and over. Mendez scouted that one. Tough one is this Mendez. What a shot there. They are laying in the leather now. These women do not like each other one bit and wrenches the arm on the top rope. 
That rope, that steel cable driven directly into the armpit of Dixon. That's a way to separate a shoulder. And speaking of that, if it wasn't separated already, Mendez trying to separate it completely, detach it from the socket here. Driving the elbow down, now Mendez has found the point of the attack. Working over the shoulder, working over the, uh, really the tricep area and the point of the elbow. A good four inches of, of spacing she's trying to work over there. And it has clearly had an effect on Dixon as she's down to one knee and now already having to, we've gone in the span of a minute from that tremendously powerful clothesline to Dixon being neutralized to the point she's throwing desperation forearms to the midsection. So great, great job on the part of Mendez in turning this one in her tide. And that shows how tough she is to come back from that clothesline and be able to think clearly enough to find an opening and take advantage of the ring environment to just decimate the, uh, the limb structure of Darcy Dixon. Look at the way she's, Mendez is just pulling, wrenching back on the arm here. And she's also got her, the, the flat part of her foot directly pushing up against the throat and the cheek, the jawline of Dixon here. Oh, really, she's he positioned it, wow, right on the side of the neck. Terrible circumstances for Darcy Dixon. Uh, I gotta say, I'm very impressed by her toughness here as she is not giving up. But it, there's no doubt about it. I, I think her shoulder may be separated at this point. As, wait a minute here. She's got Mendes bunched up and pulls her out of that into a fisherman suplex with a bridge. Just can't quite hold on though with that arm as Mendez kicks out, but quite frankly, I think a lot of that is Dixon's unable to keep the grip thanks to the damage. I'm impressed she even got her over for that suplex. Wow. Lucy Mendez, the Dodge City Destroyer herself, decimating, just totally dissecting the left arm the shoulder to the elbow area of Darcy Dixon, specifically the shoulder, uh, the fulcrum of the shoulder, and starts into the socket. Desperation kick by Dixon does not pay off as Mendez is just wow. She's really doing a masterful job of using the ring environment to her advantage. She went for the full five there, referee. Had, had Levy to disqualify her, but you got to, that's the thing though, with Mendez as the COO or Strider on the scene, uh, a lot of the officials and the wrestlers themselves are kind of uh, walking on eggshells, nervous to do, uh, enforce parts of their jobs, which is uh, just unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. It's a nice takedown there by Dixon into a pinning predicament. Hammer lock, but she was gonna get pinned if she didn't let go. Fascinating matchup so far, as this has really gone a different direction than I was expecting. Job break there by Dixon, allows her some time. The power there again, but so much of her offense is power based using the, the upper body, the arms, as Dixon rolls into a Oh, big slam counter. Sit out, slam there, face first by Mendez. As Dixon now, to her credit, and really unorthodox with some of the uh, attacks she's trying to come up with here. She's trying to find some sort of leverage advantage. We saw her go, try to go for the pin of all of that. And really, at this point in the bout, that's, that's a strategy she's got to employ as Mendez trying to finish her off with that tornado DDT. Now Dixon going up, she going up top. You don't have to worry about your upper body strength because you're flying off the top rope, but no. Took a lot of time, Mendez. Not a lot exerted out of her thus far in this bout. And headbutt there by Dixon. That could be a knockout shot. To a sunset flip into a, whoa. How has she got her up still? Power bomb, folds her down. And Mendez kicks out. What a move by Darcy Dixon, the power bomb. On one shoulder, that's literally a one arm power bomb for quite frankly. Incredible maneuver. As she is indicating to the referee the, the agony is seen on her face as Mendez though. That, 
That was the most devastating move Mendez has taken thus far in this bout. And now she's going back to work on that left arm. And maybe we'll see a sense of urgency on the part of Mendez as she used a wow, wrench on her arm to set up perhaps the Tornado DDT. Caught by Dixon. Goes for that clothesline again, misses. Mendez, ooh, hoop breaker style move, knee to the face. And that will do it. What a win here for Lucy Mendez. Impressive victory over a very, very tough competitor in Darcy Dixon. And the CEO comes out of, out of really, to her credit, not too many underhanded tactics. But it was a one major underhand attack that taken advantage of that opening, driving down the shoulder into the ropes that set this whole thing up. Impressive victory for our CEO. That will uh, undoubtedly go to her head. And if she wasn't already feeling powerful enough, she'll be feeling much more powerful now. Look at this, Mendez. Show of respect. Was not expecting that. As I, I bet she's got an ulterior motive there. Is, is, is my guess.